Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 20 new features and changes of the new iOS 13.1 beta. Yes, you heard that right. Unexpectedly, Apple released this new beta of iOS 13.1. Of course, that without even releasing iOS 13 to the public iOS 13 was still on beta, it is still on beta of course, on beta 8, the beta 8 was the last one and now they go ahead and release 13.1 beta so let's wait and see when they will go ahead and release a new beta and see whether they will continue with this, continue with iOS 13 beta 9 or both at the same time. So let's keep all that aside and let's focus on the new features of iOS 13.1 beta. On iOS 13 beta 1, you will find a new icon right here on the battery widget on the widgets panel. So if you go to the widgets panel and you enable the batteries widget, you will see here that you will see a new icon for the controllers that you connect to your iOS 13 device. Now, of course, with iOS 13, you probably know that you can connect both the PS4 controller and the Xbox controller to your iPhone and of course use them to control games that support them and now you will have this new icon right here on iOS 13. Point one beta. A few of the emojis have been tweaked on iOS 13.1 beta. Now, as far as I've noticed, there's this one, the puzzle that was blue now is green. It's like kind of green and yellow. And all the emojis with hearts on them have also been a bit tweaked, a bit redesigned. Now, you won't notice a big difference, but the hearts right there have been a bit tweaked. On iOS 13.1 beta, you can see the volume slider when you're on a call will have the icon of the phone right there. So you can notice right there you're on a call and it won't have the speaker there as an icon, but it will have that icon of the phone. Also, if you're playing music, whether that's on a Bluetooth device, on your AirPods, Apple Beats, all that, you will notice that right there it will show the icon of the device where you're playing music on the slider of the volume. You can see right there it shows Bluetooth and it will show the Bluetooth icon right there on the slider. Of course, it has all the same functions as the normal volume slider. On the 3D touch menu of the settings app, there's a redesigned icon for the battery. Now, it used to be like half charged right there, the battery, and now it's fully charged. You can see there it's fully charged and it looks much nicer. If you want to send something via airdrop, you will notice that right now iOS 13.1 beta will show like icons of the devices that you're sending those items to. So if I want to send this to my iPad, it will show there an iPad Pro. Now, if you want to send it to an iPhone, it will show an iPhone, of course, to which device you want to send your items, it will show that device right there on the airdrop list. There is a change also on the personal hotspot settings. So if you go to your settings and you go to the section of the personal hotspot, you will notice that the text right there has changed to allow others to join. Another change in the settings app is on the font section. Now, if you go now to fonts, you will see that it will show right here this part. You can download apps that install fonts from the app store. And if you tap right there, it will redirect you to the app store. Now, right now, it only sends you to like the app section right there where you will see popular apps. These are not those apps that they say there, but of course that will change in the future and it will redirect you directly to that section once it's ready. The weather widget also has been tweaked a bit now. You will see much bolder and bigger icons right here on the widget, especially for the hour by hour forecast of the weather. You will see the icons, the glyphs are much bigger. Another change is on the control center. Now, if you go to your control center force touch right here on the volume slider, you will notice that this icon is much bigger now than it was before. This is also a bit of a tweak on iOS 13.1 beta. Another change that I have noticed on iOS 13.1 beta is that when you go to set a wallpaper on your device, it doesn't let you resize the wallpaper. So you go right here and you can see normally you can resize this, you can move it around. I don't know if this is actually a bug or a feature. It might be a feature. It will fit like the wallpaper perfectly and won't let you move it. But right now you can see right there, you won't be able to resize the wallpaper at all. You will just have to set it as it is. 
if you use test flight and you test beta apps you will notice a change right here now of course the beta apps have this little dot right there that indicate that they're on beta that used to be orange and now with this new update that color has changed and now it has a lighter color it's actually yellow that has changed on ios 13.1 beta share eta is also back on iOS 13 with iOS 13.1 beta. Now I have noticed that a ton of features that have been in the first few betas of iOS 13 and then later on have been removed are back with iOS 13.1 beta. The same goes for the share ETA feature which now is available with iOS 13.1 beta. Same goes for shortcuts automations. Shortcuts automations have been enabled on the first few betas of iOS 13 but then I don't know why Apple decided to remove them and of course they are back on the shortcuts app with iOS 13.1 beta. New dynamic wallpapers. On iOS 13.1 you will find a few new dynamic wallpapers that have been redesigned and of course I don't think a lot of people use these wallpapers. It would be better if Apple would add like just some simple wallpapers, some still wallpapers, some new ones or even some new live wallpapers not the dynamic wallpapers which I don't believe a lot of people use at all and now we have a few new ones. On iOS 13.1 beta, if you go to the settings app and go to books, you will find here reading goals. Of course, this has been a feature since the release of iOS 13, but now we have a new option with iOS 13.1. You will have an option right here to include PDFs. So basically the time that you spend reading PDFs will also be calculated on the reading goals. Going to the Apple Watch app, you will notice here a small change. Now, if you scroll down, you will see here Nike Run Club. Now, this used to be Nike Plus Run Club, and now it's just Nike Run Club. Of course, just a little change right there. On the Maps app on iOS 13.1 beta, if you want to delete a collection right here, now you will find this pop-up that will ask you if you want to delete it or not. Basically, a confirmation here that will prevent you from accidentally deleting one of your collections. Right now, you will have this pop-up to basically confirm that you want to delete it. There are also new animations and also a new icon redesign on the NFC section right here. Now, I got this screenshot from Reddit. I haven't been able to reproduce this myself, but basically here is a redesign of the icons and also there are, there are supposed to be a few new animations. And last but not least is a new kind of like animation when moving the cursor through rows like this. So you can see right here, if I move through the text, you can see that snapping animation that the cursor will do as I move through these rows of text. Now, I believe that hasn't been there before and it's now on iOS 13.1 beta. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 20 new features and changes that Apple has added to their surprise, the iOS 13.1 beta. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more iOS 13 videos, make sure you subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media and I'll see you guys on the next one.